Hello everyone, we're heading to Poland! Yay! Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. It's time for relics. Time for relics. Okay, so I've decided I had to take needles on the board, so we should see how it goes. I'm wearing Arboreal sweater with 100% wool, and as you can see, the sun is shining, but its wool is kind of, you know, it's huge, so I have air going on the circulation. What else I can show you? I can show you my star hat, and I'm knitting socks. How cute they are! Look at this. How cute are they? So we'll just see how it goes. We're going to have one movie. It takes us three hours to fly and land in Krakow. We're starting from Shannon or land in Krakow. I think that's all. Comfort yard. Welcome in Poland, we're in Green Motors, we're renting a car and expecting costs by 190 euro because we do not own a um, credit card, just to let you know. And I would love to show you, and you can't actually see, but I'm knitting. I know, it's dark, but I'm knitting. Socks. Let's see, can I still read in Polish? So we have Katowice, Wrocław, Jędrzechowice. And then we have Katowice, Oświęcim, Balin. And Oświęcim is Auschwitz, actually. That was the name uh, given by Germans. So we're going towards that area. We're going towards Oświęcim. As you can see, we're going on the right. Hello, hello. I don't know what day is it, but we spent a few days in our hometown. We both are from the same uh, town and now and loads of food so maybe on the screen you can see what we had amazing and now we're going towards Krakow uh, we'll be passing Auschwitz and the Polish is Auschwitzim so maybe I'll give you a sneak peek how it looks from the road you can see this is we're going to go and turn especially up here here on this side you can one walls and here is you can see buildings they renovate over here the tower and you can see the towers
A main entrance is over here, so all those cars are going there. Sorry, here is the main entrance, and as you can see, here's the parking. Over here. And here is a bus stop. <laughs> okay, so we shall see. We will show you also a railway station, and it hasn't changed for over 20, 30 years, I would say. So. Uh, and just in front of it there is a bus stops that you can hop in and go to Auschwitz if you want to see it. So here it is. This is um, railway station. It's all closed. Basically you have to walk around and you could see there's Auschwitz written down on it. As with the father. Maybe a better view over here. Um, and here is a bus stop. So yes, uh, this is it. And um, but we were thinking, if you go, if you fly to Krakow and you stay in Krakow, you probably find loads of minibuses that will drive you directly to Auschwitz and then take you back to Krakow. I think it's an easier option, but obviously, if you want to uh, go hard, uh, you can uh, hop in on the train and try to get here and then find a bus to direct you to a certain area. Uh, that's an option too. Right, I'm not sure are you interested about that, but uh, let's try and see. Uh, we came in to Poland to visit our family, so that's the main thing. And also for five days we're heading to Zakopane. And if you've been on this channel for a while, every year we go there. But the second thing that while we go into Poland every year is that we have some tests done like healthy ones, because that's a big difference between Poland and Ireland, at least from my own experience. And we like to do it every year uh, because um, if we had to compare ourselves to our cars, we would like to be treated better than our cars. And at least once per year, some full service is needed, at least for us. I don't know about you, but in my situation, in case I want to have a blood test done or any test done, um, I have to, in Ireland, visit my doctor who may may not prescribe stuff that I need to have it done and then I have to have another date to have that arranged and then uh, I don't see results only my doctor can see it so then I have to arrange another meetup with a doctor and uh, all of that all of those stuff would have been okay if the next visit wouldn't have been in the next while <laughs> especially in the hospital section uh, with the GP maybe to be quicker to get results um, so this is uh, our own option we can in Poland you can come and over and you can do a private test uh, whatever you want to have done you can have it done and you have results depends what you're doing on the next day or a few days later and here is my update about knitting this lovely socks I think I started in Ireland from here and this whole thing, almost up till here, I did in plane, and um, I did a bit at home, but not so much. I think I was working on my hat. And how do you like it? It's a comfort uh, yarn, and I think it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And we are in Krakow. Hopefully, I can show you. The Pavel is over there. You see it? Do you see it? That's Pavel. 
we've been there, so I'm going to put the link down below if you're interested to see a bit. And here is the longest river, Wisła. So if you don't know, Poland looks like a big crest and this river runs through it in the middle, like on the Superman's chest. Big ass letter. How do I look? <laughs> okay, so we are in Krakow. We're heading towards the main market. Center market. There's only one market in Krakow. So you can see we're heading, we're in the one road that directs there. And you'll see lots of amazing stuff. Here is what we can see. And we have white car carriages. We're definitely going inside. You have a passage or a big hole. There's loads of shops there too. And those little booths over here are so cute. So we are in the center of the market, and here you could see. Holes, corridors, passages. So, as you can see, it's quite loud. We have this here in the middle. We have on the sides, and then we have actual rows farther away. Well, it's a little bit busy, I would say. I'm not used to a traffic like this. <laughs> you have seen that we're going to Zakopane. Where is that? Is that in the south of Poland? Imagine Crest. Imagine that big river, like a Superman shape, S letter, and somewhere over there we're heading. Right? Right. Got a hat? got some jewelry, we're ready to rock. I have just posted on Instagram a few information that you may know, so, um, or you may like to know, or you don't really care. Uh, so, first one is that comparing Poland to Ireland, Poland has approximately 40 million people. So, if you're driving through Poland, you see loads of cars. Ireland, five million people, approximately, obviously. The other thing is that uh, most of you know a few things about Poland, Poland even without realizing it. And the first thing is that you know the capital city of Poland. Do you know the tongue twister? I don't know completely full of it, but let's start. And it goes like this. I saw a soul in Warsaw. From all the souls I've ever sold. So, I don't know, I think that's a grammar mistake. I've never seen a soul that I saw in Warsaw or something like this. That's basically it, it's capital city of Poland and maybe I'm speaking over here information that the previous capital city was Krakow and that's basically where we were and that's basically when I got these. I didn't get it in the center of the market, we actually went to some of those, uh, you know, pedestrians roads <laughs> leading towards the main thing. So I love it so much, actually two pieces, just to let you know. What else I can say? I told you about how many people we have, I told you about the river, I told you about how it's shaped, I told you about capital city. What else would you like to know? Let me know down below. Look, 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 how beautiful this is. And just to let you know, this ball I got from D-Stash, from K, from Bakery Bears, and look how pretty it is. And 
Their podcast also is about traveling and showing castles and places to knit. Just to let you know, I took this beautiful yarn and I'm knitting it in Poland. So it's a bit of traveling thing going on over here. What else I was thinking to tell you? I was thinking to tell you that um, just in case you would want to visit Poland, again, let's imagine the crest on the bottom we have mountains in the middle we have lakes on the top we have baltic baltic i think baltic that's you say in english baltic sea and then i know also that some of you knows how to say in polish how are you but normally we don't ask like that in poland uh, over here but you definitely have seen if you heard in the 90s i would say ali g uh he always said jak się masz, which is in polish <laughs> and i think he was pretending to be from kazakhstan which is a completely different language just fyi And we are here. I'm going to show you the room that we got in a sec, but because it's raining like crazy, we're going unpack. Okay, so here is our room. We have a small living room, some water, TV. Well, we're not going to use it, hopefully. And then here is a lovely divider. There is actually four people, just two of us, lovely towels soaps and everything in wood beautiful
So therefore, apparently it's going to rain and we're going to chill out over here outside, secure by this lovely thing up there. And I will, I will, I will, bit. and listen to some podcasts. Hello everyone, uh, we are in Zakopane and our destination now is Kuznice. Idziemy to Kostrowy Wier, idziemy się tylko Ryszkową przełęcz, pośrednio Wier, to jest Kowa Kowa, Sochy Wier. I dopiero tam z niego będziemy schodzić na przełęcz Kontracką, wejdziemy na Kiewę. I potem niebieskim zejdziemy do Holi Konradowej, tam jest stronisko. Potem Równickie Kontrackie, może pojedziemy na Polarne Kratkówki, tam jest małe stronisko, takie większe. I zejdziemy do Wierzy. Now I'm going to use the toilet and you have to pay for it. Destination? Gevont. So we're heading up slowly, wearing my star hat. I think I forgot gloves, but Seb always had like three pairs. I need a bit more gloves actually. And yeah, we're heading up. Seb is up there, and I barely can walk. Right, so we were there. You walk down here, and then you have to push your body against this rock, go up here, not to fall, and then go down over here. Done. Just to let you know, this is a red track. Red. We were there, going down, up, down, up, here, over here, and up we go. Coming back from Kasprowy Bier, on the bottom you have Kopa Kondracka.
we're back from here from there actually but look at this I hope you can see this path from there zigzag going down to uh, the hot opera actually it's a um, hostel I would say but in Polish we call it schronisko and if you walk around you may notice that everyone will greet you with the word on the screen now Cześć! We're going up to the highest peak and this is a one-way route We came back from this mountain going down Here is a stay And we're going up it's one-way route, there's apparently all the way to go, and it's a big queue. Right, so we're going on the top of Gjevant. Almost. Almost. And I'm going to show you something interesting. Here it is. It's a big, big, big queue. Well, at least I hope they sell yarn at the end. <laughs> if there's no yarn, I'm not happy. What are they selling? I don't know. And we just came back from there. We came back from there, from the left, and now we're going here. In Poland, between the routes, arounds, or loops, you can find uh, houses like this. We call them schronisko, and you can have food, drink, and I think if you book it, you can even sleep here. One, two, <laughs> two backpacks. Oh, it's not easy. It's kind of chilly in the forest. As you can see now, we're passing Hohov, which is um, 
very famous town in Poland because of the wooden houses. You can see on the right, you can see on the left, uh, they're all wooden and we love it actually. Tradition is that every year um, people go out and they brush their houses to maintain them clean and if you wash them and brush them and they stay color of the wood will stay lighter for a longer period of time. At least that's what we were told. I'm knitting, as you can uh, see. A beautiful blue color, hopefully you can. Oh no. So anyway, that reminds me, because no way I can get to focus on the thing, is one, the roads in Poland are very <laughs> bumpy. Second of all, if you're coming into Poland, doesn't matter if you're in a city or a town, but if you want to use toilet, uh, those uh, facilities uh, may cost you two up to five zwote, okay, set out. So uh, in euro, let's say, what will be 50 to one euro 50. So, you know. As I mentioned, we drive on the right side, but we have the lights on on our car if you're renting or not. Because in Poland, it is um, a law to, when you're driving, you have your lights on. Basically, I believe it's the an idea that if your identify object, so our car is moving, should have a light on. If it doesn't, lights can be cut. Can be up so in case you have any cars parked on the side of the road uh, you know are they moving or not and especially I think maybe during the summer when it's so hot and you can see that the asphalt is just kind of steaming or heating up or something like that so just to be sure sure now I've been posting on Instagram <laughs> No, sorry about this, but well, uh, I've been uh, posting on Instagram stories and loads of it was a bit of a knitting, not so much, but it was more about food that we were just spoiling ourselves. And some of you were, some of you were writing down that uh, you've tasted things here and there. Um, and you liked it, so I'm so happy about it. Uh, just be aware that if you're in, a, I don't know, restaurant, whatever place you go to, I normally ask, uh, was it, was like, for instance, barsh, which is beetroot fruit soup, was, uh, is, is, is it homemade or not? Uh, because that's, that's, that's a big difference. Um, second of all, in different region, that, for instance, soup, which I'm talking about, the beetroot soup, tastes differently because there's a different kind of herbs, there's a different... So basically, the main stuff is the same, but the recipe overall may, might be different, so it tastes differently. The same thing, it's about Zurek. So, um, Zurek, I mentioned you while we were walking that you could see hostels on the sides, and then there would have Zurek or Barst, both of them, but always ask, are they not from the, you know, the Sasha or anything like that? Uh, if they're not, definitely get it. Beautiful. I love it anyway. It's a special. It's a different taste. Something that you've never tried before. And, um, and different. And, 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 the, and the funny. And the funny thing is that in a different uh, hostel, let's say it that way. What's the Polish word? Mountain hostel. Mount. Okay. Seb says it's it's called mount, mountain hostel. Mountain. 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 Mountain hostel. So. Um, Sroniska, Sroniska on the screen. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I haven't mentioned it. While we were using uh, cable cars, everything was in Polish. So you do not have an English um, voice information. You may have some, you know, like translations under like exit or entry or with tickets, you know, without the tickets and stuff so on and so on so oh yeah and that reminds me too when you want to get a ticket to the cable car that we cars that we actually got you can get them in three ways online this is the way we did it we went to on the website and we booked it a few days before 
uh, two you can arrive on the place and apparently there are some areas that you can go direct like ATMs looking things that you can uh, buy stuff and uh, you will get a ticket which is quite slightly more expensive uh, or you can stay in the long queue and get the cheapest option but um, it looks though that uh, those people who are buying that way um, they're filling in the gaps to get into the cable car.
Hello everyone, we're in the Tension Castle and Seb was messing when he was a scout over here, obviously, when he was young. So he's talking, telling us all about his adventures over here. However, at 11 o'clock we will have um, the tour guide included, so a little more, like a proper history now. As you can see, this castle is going to be um, rebuilt and it's huge! According to the uh, tour guide, it has been like a second um, castle in Krakow. Every tower has a name. I hope I showed you already. This is Isdorotka and means that's the girl's name and apparently she hunts this place. my shoe. Ice cream. Yummy. We're heading back to the airport in Krakow. Yes. Say something. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, we are. And uh, I haven't recorded anything for a while, so apologies for that. I have a time to knit, but I was, I was doing other exciting things, let's say that way. Now I have my knitting here. We shall see how it goes because I'm feeling tired. Um, what else I can tell you? I hope you enjoyed a bit of Poland um, even though I was preparing for the walks for a month, you know, everyday walking, I still had a big pain in my calves. I don't know, I did something wrong. Second of all, you have mosquitoes around the place all over and you don't and you can't hear them. I don't know why. I'm bitten. I haven't even had a chance to show you what kind of yarn I bought in Poland because I got it some yarn and I'm going to the sweater hopefully something similar with this 100% Polish wool and uh, I may have something to put into my shop we shall see how it goes but obviously there'll be really little little amount just to share with those who would want to try a yarn from Poland um, yeah it's not nothing from the woolen mills it's spun and hand spun and everything like that so I can't wait to be more creative and enjoy knitting. I got myself earrings last year and this year a necklace. How do you like it? I love it. Umber is something that I relate to Poland. I know it's not only Poland but it's beautiful. Do you want to see how much I've done on my hat? Oh, let's see. Here it is, a hat, I'm messing, I'm not following any pattern, I'm just playing, I'm just going with the flow, going with the flow, and uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe I go with the cowl, but I'm definitely doing a slightly slouchier hat, because I think I should be doing increases now, 
normally what I do, I'll show you on the clipping. My pouch, the thing I love pouch, is 20 centimeters, which is eight inches. And most of the hats always tell you to knit up to eight inches, seven inches, or nine inches. So you can see that I have a little bit more than eight inches, so 20 centimeters. Up till here, this section is 10 centimeters, until this part, bit. Until this is seven centimeters. 10, 20, and to check how much I have up here. Anyway, my pouches, link down below to my shop, knittingilove.com, just check it out. Right, we're still heading towards Krakow. We rented this car, we're going to uh, leave it. What's, what's the word? Collect them. No, collect is to take it. Collect it, guys, bring it back. Return, yeah. We're going to return this car. We have to get our um, luggage and walk for like 500 meters or 300 meters, get to the airport and stuff. I'm not sure will I be able to record. Normally, I just hope that I do and forget and we don't have a proper ending. So uh, let's do this now and I hope you enjoy our holidays. I know it's not a proper vlogging and vlogging every day, but it's a bit uh, here and there. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. And I'll, if I know answer, or I presume I know answer, I will reply. Anyway, I will reply anyway. Bye. Say bye. There is yarn. And here is um, Krakow Airport. Airport. <laughs> so we're heading over there. Give these two and keep two on our backs. And can you see Shannon? 2022 24. Let's check it out. My last purchase in Poland. I'm a Polish girl, so I thought a red traditional folk uh, necklace is something I need in my life. I know I have loads of things, so let's put this. Now, if you're ever in Poland, try to get yourself an amber necklace. Something tiny would be fine. This is more folk traditional thing, so I know it's up there a little bit, but come on, what do you think? Too much? Mm.